Yo, now that you guys have clicked on this video, you guys have to like and subscribe in the next five seconds or you guys will have 10 years of bad luck. Trust me, guys, I am not kidding. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is JR and in today's video We have the goaded Owen gun class up that you guys all need to try I'm not kidding when I say this thing literally is like a three-shot kill like literally guys It's insanely good and just to prove that to you guys We are gonna be dropping over hundred kills and a v2 rocket in today's gameplay So trust me you're gonna want to stick around for this class setup All right, So the class setup is right here on screen So if you guys want to go ahead and pause the video grab the class up real quick That's great if you guys want to continue watching the video and listen to why I have each attachment on continue playing the video So very first off we have the strife compensator the reason we're going to be running this is for the recoil control and you're going to understand why we need this on this gun here very shortly next up we have the gay wayne 188 mm shrouded barrel guys the reason i run this barrel is because it increases limb damage bullet velocity and less damage fall off at long range the only downside is is you're going to have a little bit more recoil and then also you're not going to get that headshot multiplier but trust me guys with this attachment right here and some other attachments along with it this barrel is the best barrel for the owen gun next up we have the slate reflector site i absolutely love this site best site in the game so i mean that's why i run it if you guys want to run something else go right ahead i will say right now though the site on the owen gun is absolutely horrible horrible just because you can't see anything on the right side of the gun your peripherals are kind of shot on this gun moving on we have the remove stock the reason we have the remove stock is because of the movement speed we get ads speed sprint to fire speed and aim walk movement speed all those are huge bonuses if you guys are trying to play aggressive which i would highly suggest with this gun for perk one we have brace and that's because it's going to help with our initial accuracy and recoil which means right away when you shoot the gun it's going to have immediate accuracy and like immediate like no recoil whatsoever we have quick i love quick because i move around a little bit faster but you guys can also run fully loaded fully loaded is a great perk to run because you're never going to run out of ammo and then surplus is also really good if you guys are trying to level up the gun moving on to our grip we have the rubber grip there's a few different grips you guys can run i just ran the rubber grip in today's video for the recoil control uh, i believe this polymer grip that's actually pretty good that one's pretty good as well and uh the fabric grip is also really good on this thing as well but we are going to be running the rubber grip just for the recoil control itself so yeah moving on to the magazine we have the eight millimeter kurt 60 round drum mag so this is going to have a lot more recoil it's going to have a little bit less fire rate a little bit less ads speed but the thing is this thing absolutely packs a punch guys our damage goes up plus one bullet penetration goes up plus one magazine is also bigger and then on top of that our vol bullet velocity and range is also going to go up so this thing's literally going to turn the owen gun into like a little pocket ar all right so moving on to our ammo type we have lengthen on which is going to increase our bullet velocity plus three but here's where it gets really cool if you guys really want to you guys can actually make this thing absolutely insanely good with the day wayne barrel by running the hollow point because this hollow point also increases limb damage which means guys this thing's literally gonna be like a two to three shot kill if you guys run the hollow points as well all right so we got the carver four grip for our last attachment guys of course it's gonna have recoil control and hip fire accuracy our ads speed is gonna go down a little bit but that's okay because that's why we have the remove stock on this is gonna really help with that recoil control quite a bit if you guys don't like this you guys can also run the m1941 hand stop it's a great grip as well but i like the carver four grip a little bit better on this class setup all right so once again guys here's the class up on screen hopefully you guys do grab this class up go drop a nuke with it go drop 100 kills 200 kills i don't care so let me know what you guys think about this class up if there's anything you'd like me to change on it i will definitely make a video on that as well if you guys want me to in the future and uh yeah all right at this point i'm pretty sure you guys are tired of hearing me talk so let's hop right into the gameplay i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out deuces it's brand new to me all right it's a different class setup that you still can't see anything out of the right side with <laughs> it's so bad like the sight is not the gun this is the sight <laughs> You literally can't see anything out of the right side whatsoever on this gun. <laughs> but that's what makes it unique, right? Ooh, come here. Oh, and, and you're, you're sitting in a corner? My man! My man! It's 2021! Or no, it's actually 2022, my bad. But nah, my man! Sitting in a corner? Bruh. Bro, you can't, you can't make this up. That shoot his body. A little toxicity, am I right? A little toxicity goes a long way in this game. You gotta have that competitive nature. I really don't know, like, I wanna. Okay, they're going back this side. They're just kind of all over here. These spawns are, like I said, the spawns. On this map are they're they're what it's a great map, but the spawns are absolutely whack. Absolutely whack. And this match is actually playing really slow right now, which I can never thought I'd say that about hotel, but it is actually playing really slow right now. Oh my gosh. And these guys are it's part of part of the reason is because these guys don't want to move at all. 
They realize they can respawn, right? It's crazy how how bad the camping in the bot playstyle has become since Modern Warfare. I loved Modern Warfare. I absolutely loved Modern Warfare, but at the same time, I hated it because of the way it made players play. Ever since that game came out, players play so scared, like they forget that they can respawn. Let me see this. It literally spawned him right there, right after. I, uh, that, that's great. That's great. He's just waiting for me. There's days I think this game actually spawns players like that, just so that they're they're already ready and lined up to get that that kill on you. You know, it's another crutch I think that they added into this game and haven't hasn't really talked been talked about much. I know more recently more people have been talking about it, but I I, I truly think some of the spawns are are done on purpose. Cause have you guys ever been on a nuke streak, right? And all of a sudden some dude just ran just one guy one guy spawns right behind you. We're at a perfect angle to where his guns already aimed on you. Okay, we're not gonna add, we're not gonna talk about that. Okay. Ooh, I got a teammate with dogs. All right. We're not gonna ask where some of these bullets are going. I really do believe Bloom. I know it's because of Bloom. And I really do believe Bloom does not deserve to be in Call of Duty. It should not be in any FPS game, first person shooter games at all. Once again, it's just a, another crutch that kind of shortens, shortens the skill gap. That's what I like to you guys. Very, very bad players. Cause this game, and for some reason, Activision has a tendency to lower the skill gaps on games anymore. So they can focus on their cells more. Cause their cells mean more than the enjoyability and actual playability of the game, apparently anymore. I'm sure this guy's gonna come after. Oh, he did it. I'm surprised he didn't jump up. I thought for sure he saw me. He jumped over the edge. Apparently he did it though, which is good. So I'm not complaining. Alright, let's see if we can get something going here. Kind of had a slow start here. I really want to get something going here. We only have 29 kills right now, which is really low for me. Gotta be careful here, cause this is where they, this is where they try to spawn them behind ya. Oh man. Have you even left that spot? Like, bro, you spawn and you just sit there. How was that fun? Like, how was that fun? Great. Absolutely fantastic. You can see him on my radar, of course. But it's great. Oh my gosh. My dude, you're a bot. We're playing like a bitch. I'm about to pull an MP40 out and just nuke these kids quick.
I need you can't sit in pre aim with a sniper the you got that game. Like I said, boy. Here. I can't see anything because of all this stuff. I swear to God. This is why I'd be okay with them never including stuns or anything ever again in Call of Duty. Because kids just sit there and spam it. They don't even, it's, if they don't even do anything. They just sit there and be annoying with it. No kills, no, no actually doing it. Which in my opinion is some of the most annoying play styles. Alright, let's try this again. I thought there was still one more there. I wasn't 100% sure though. Woo! Back in burst, right? That could have been horrible. Hey, we got the V2, baby. We got the V2. This had to kind of turn up a little bit there, you know? The whole reason I took that first one is because I couldn't see where I was getting shot from on the radar. Or where that guy was spawning, my bad. Because they had that jammer there. Like, how are you going to include a jammer and not include a trophy system? By the way, guys, just for a disclaimer, this is not me, like, com complaining. This is just me pointing out simple features of the game that could easily be fixed to improve the playability of this game and just, like, make it a, a much better game. There's so many things it could do. Little things... That would make this game absolutely insane because I do enjoy the game. There's just these little, little things that just make me irritated. <laughs> and the biggest of which are just like the, the, all the skill gaps that they're taking away, including drop shotting. Like, I can't drop shot unless I wear acrobatic, and even then, it's still a horrible drop shot. You know, I'm sorry that not everyone has a scuff, but they they have button layouts for those people. You know. Call V2 in real quick. Yeah, you know, we love our our nukes. Oh, we finally finally passed the way there. Eh, nice little streak there at the end. Yeah, the own gun's fun to use. Though, I'm not gonna lie. I just wish you could see how that right side a little bit more. It's a really fun gun to use, though. Definitely a really fun gun to use. 